Peace, everyone. Welcome back. Sorry, it's kind of a mess right there. Anyway, I have to get one another one of those dash cam things because I don't like the steering wheel. So anyway, okay. So today started out being um a cool day. It's still a cool day because it's my little guy's birthday. He's turning three today. So happy birthday to my youngest prince. And so, oh man, oh my, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm driving, I just dropped the boys off at school, sugar honey, and I am um, on my way back, well, whatever, to do my runs, because I'm always on the moon. And so I'm at the light. And this guy, this is not even what I, the video was about, but it just happened just now. Oh my gosh. So just now, while I'm shooting, uh, or recording rather, um, a guy driving the vehicle had like a bunch of fences. I guess a contractor had a bunch of fences on the back of his truck. And as he was, he stopped and then he went forward and then all of these fences, white fences, fell into the middle of the street and so the people who were to go after him cannot go because all of these fences just fell so thankfully he pulled over and he's picking up the fence <clears throat> excuse me picking up the fences so the people can go so yeah that's not what this video is about though <laughs> so um anyway so i'm driving through dc and on the way to dc i see some things and on the way you know to my next move I see some things and I don't know like it just I feel a little sadness um so I've been noticing a lot more um it appears to be prostitution and you know sometimes we are just um caught up in la la land La La Land. Anyway, sometimes we are caught up in La La Land, and you know most people don't see don't see some of the, the real life things that people are going through. And so, for like the past six months or so, I have noticed um, this one woman who appears to be selling herself. Okay, and. She's a bigger woman, uh, much bigger than what you would expect to see, you know, walking the streets. I'll say that. And it doesn't matter the time of day. Nighttime, you know, evening, I mean, daytime, nighttime. It doesn't matter. Like, I see her in the morning, and sometimes I see her in the afternoon or evening when I pick up the kids. And... You know, every time I see her, I just kind of feel a little sadness. And then a couple of times, oh my gosh, like I just passed it. I'm on a highway right now. And there's somebody just chilling on the side of the highway. Like he's not in the car, he's sitting. Okay, anyway. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, so this one woman, so I've been noticing her for about the past six months. And so the kids also notice her. And, um, so in the morning I just have my two but in the afternoon I you know take care of two other children and so they have seen this woman and she um, will usually have on like a skirt but a really really low shirt that is clearly advertising something okay and so I just feel a little sadness for her and part of me wonders you know why she's made that decision not passing judgment just why she's made that decision like sometimes I wonder you know does she have children you know is she on drugs um, is she homeless like what's going on that has led her to make this decision and again this is not like back in the day like I guess in the 80s because I'm an 80s baby and I didn't really know much about about whatever you want to call it, prostitutes, hookers, street walkers, ladies of the night, whatever you want to call them. I don't even know what the politically correct term to call, you know, people who have that profession. So, 
but back then like they were usually all glammed up okay they were usually glammed up or now no not necessarily they're not necessarily glammed up um it makes me wonder why people actually stop some for uh, anyway so so that's one person and I feel a little sadness about that okay but then lately over the past month or two I guess I've been noticing and no before then actually I guess over the past six months before then anyway I've been noticing more males okay males who um, I guess are transgendered I don't know what they will call themselves whether or not they're transgendered or if they're just or if they're gay or I don't know but again I mean and some of them you know they look like they have a clear mind and then I've seen like I saw another one passed out so yeah my kids go to school in a hood okay <sighs> but that's where they go um, and so like I just passed one that was just kind of like sleep okay I, I can see it's a man um, or a male and but he has on a wig and his dress and everything and he's just kind of like sleep on somebody's steps um, anyway oh gosh and so I just feel a little sadness like I see a lot more guys who are, you know, dressed up and advertising as well, okay? Um, and I have sons, okay? I have daughters too, um, but I gave birth to two sons. And just seeing them, these young guys, no, like I just feel I, I'm not sure how I feel actually and then so another time um, I had took the kids to the playground after school and um, my children go to an African center school and so I had my kids as well as the children that I watch after school and they all had on you know their school uniforms is usually African top or and or bottom so African attire dashikis generally and so this person, okay, so we're at the park and this person, you know, compliments the children on their clothes. And, you know, the person is like, oh, I really like your outfits. And, and they're like, thank you. And so one little girl that I watch, she's about, she's five. She's, she's six. Okay, she's either five or six. I think she just turned, she just turned six over the summer. Um, and so she was hesitant I'm like say thank you so that we can keep them moving this is my thought let's just say thank you now this person you can clearly see that this is a male okay the face the face the structure you can see that this is a man this is a male but he has a long you know luxurious weave head of hair and um, he looked like he was exercising with another person who you can clearly, well, who appears to be a woman um, and who looks like, who was a woman. And so, yes, I'm trying to be politically correct in this video because I'm not trying to offend anyone, but there's just so much stuff going on in my head right now. I'm just trying to, I'm just getting it out at this point, okay? And I want to be respectful. And so the five, the six-year-old, she's looking at him like, this is that's how the six-year-old's looking at him because she's clearly confused okay because we can see that this is a man but we can also see that he has female accessories and she's confused so I guess for transgendered people or whatever you're calling yourself okay whatever whatever label you are calling yourself what however you whatever words you're using to describe yourself children are they're confused okay I mean as adults I'm confused but I, I understand that people have a right to do and look and wear whatever they want look however they want that's their choice and 
I um, firmly believe that people should be respected. But at the same time, don't come forcing your stuff over here, okay? Like, we don't even know... Mm, this is a sticky topic and I probably should stay away from it. But I'm serious. I have children. And sometimes I'm I'm embarrassed when they ask certain questions. I, I'm embarrassed because they're asking truthful questions. So ch children are pretty raw okay they they pretty much say what they see and because adults have made certain choices and lifestyle choices we almost have to silence the children or just tell me oh it's okay baby um but I, I firmly believe that everyone should be respected. Like no one should be disrespected because of the personal choices that they have made. Um, but y'all, we're confused, okay? I'm not confused. And I'm not even gonna say that the children are confused, but we are being made to feel like we are confused because we are observing and interacting with people who are making choices indicating that they are confused. I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, I, this video was initially about the sadness, you know, just whatever I was feeling when I see these people out here, um, you know, doing what they feel like they have to do. I mean, and some of these, the guys who are, you know, walking the streets, advertising, I'm just going to say, you know, I, I don't know if they've gone as far as like hormones and, you know, they do little things to stick up and stick out and, you know, they got their tights and, you know, I, I don't know. I just, you know part of me is like no don't wonder don't question this stuff okay that is not your life it's not your world don't worry about it but again like we're passing through it okay so we're so it leads me to question certain things and then I do have questions because when my kids or when I'm with kid children and they have questions sometimes I just don't know what to say to them okay because again I want to teach them to be respectful um, but at the same time, I want to tell them the truth, you know, like there is, we don't do Santa Claus. Okay. There's no magical fairy bringing you presents, you know, because your tooth came out underneath. Like if there, if somebody put some money underneath your pillow, that's us. Okay. It ain't no magical fairy. So I, I tell my, my children, the, the, the excuse me, the truth. Or as I see it, or as I know it, that is my goal to speak truth and light. But sometimes I don't know what to say. I don't know. So the prostitution thing, like that's a whole nother ball game. I don't, I don't expect anyone to really comment on that. Um, it's just, it's, it makes me sad, and 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 it also. It also, it's like, no, I don't want to live in a neighborhood. I, ch I, don't, I choose to live in a neighborhood where that stuff is not present, where my children are not seeing that. Um, but then it's like, okay, for some people that's very real, okay? And they see it every day, children and all. And I, even as far as my children, you know, I, I don't, I, I have them in a small private school. Okay. It's not a big school. It's a small school. And that's because some of the stuff that's going on in the public schools, I just don't agree with. And, and I don't really agree with the agendas. Okay. Some of the teachers in the school, they don't even know what the agendas are really. They're just doing the job. So, but, so I just want something different from my children, but at the same time, 
my seven year old he thinks he's tough he really does and he is so dis disillusioned like he you know likes to do his little cool dude stance and every time he takes a picture he's throwing up you know fingers and he just really wants to be a cool dude that's what he calls them and when he hears rap that's cool dude music now i have other children who are a lot older and they have made some choices um some of them you know dib and dabble in the street life or listen to <laughs> hardcore cool dude music i know i'm corny whatever so what i'm corny it's okay but i he seems to be a little fascinated about it and i really want to tell him you're not about that life okay i'm not about that life when i grew up I knew people who, who were in the streets and I knew them, but I did not partake in that, in that, you know, part. We, our relationships may have been based on different things. And so I don't want that for my children. I just don't. But then I've also seen people who, as they get older, who definitely didn't grow up in the streets, you know, family might have had them their parents might have had them in church or some type of religious setting or you know had them involved in this and that I can think of at least two people who you know had traditional families or maybe went through some some challenges whatever a traditional family is okay I was thinking like okay mom dad blah 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 or you know go to church on Sundays look actually but their parents yeah but anyway two of them they wind up going into the streets you know one wanted to be a rapper and he felt like he had to have some street credibility so he went into the streets and he started doing things and engaging in activities that was so far from the foundation that his parents gave him another one um, I think he was just fascinated with the lifestyle as well. I don't know. Anyway, I'm rambling. So that's it, y'all. Just, just, I don't know. Think about it. Don't think about it. But to the, but to the, I guess the transgender community, um, like when you were a child, if you were a child, and I'm not talking about people who have had surgeries. I'm talking about people who are dressing up. Maybe you can't afford the surgery or hormones or whatever. I don't know. But either way, you've made a choice. If you were a child, you would be saying exactly what's on your mind. So from a child's perspective... I don't know what should be going on what do you think should be going on because again I want my children to be respectful people have a right to make whatever choices they decide to make for their lives okay it affects them but when it comes down to children there are certain things that in, in my household that are not acceptable and I'm a, I have a little bit more tolerance for certain things than my husband. Or not, I'm not even going to say tolerance, but I'm a social worker by former profession. But I'm a social worker by, by nature, really. And so my it's in my nature to try to understand people and to be empathetic sometimes. So I'm a lot more tolerant than my husband. But there's certain things that... I'm not tolerant about and I would rather not have my children exposed to certain things my it's my goal to live a natural lifestyle as natural as I can possibly do that is my goal and that's how I raise my children to live a natural lifestyle so anyway you like to leave a comment um, something constructive please please feel free to do so um, if not, just think about it. What do you think would be appropriate 
to share with children, young children. All right, y'all. Peace, love, and light.